Welcome to the part 4 of the Age of the Ring Mod Showcase. This time we're gonna be taking a look into the La Flori infection, the Elf infection in a 101 on the map Jolly Hauling. Let's do this. Let's build some of these giant trees. Giant. I think they will be turning into tree beards in about thousand years from now. That's how big they are, okay? In the Alvin Fortress, holy quacamole, this is looking beautiful. We need more, more, more resources. Let's build one in the front. And one also maybe a little bit behind. That's a good spot. Okay. Powerpoint wise, we have, the we have the chance to choose between Elvin Horn, which is like Rallying Call, buff, you know. Then you have the You Can Go No Further, and it stuns every, enem every enemy unit in a small area for 4 seconds, which is a very short duration. And Lefiol Ifilin. So basically, a volley of arrows. But we're gonna be choosing the Elvin Horn because we like the buff. And we need more eco. Our command points are not increasing though. Because we are building a lot of stuff. Oh! Okay, primary upgrade. Increase resource production. Okay, and your command points by 50. Turns the Malone tree into a Galadrim garrison. Okay, that's interesting. We need the barracks though. But maybe with this one behind, we can actually go for this. But dude, you have only one structure then, but you can do so much stuff with it. Okay, we need the barracks though. Very important. Uh, let's get some... Okay, we need archers. Let's get this one. And we need more of the Malon trees. Give, it to, give me the money. Nice, okay. Okay, you need to invest, like, that's why it makes sense, because they cost only 200, while other factions have to pay, have to pay 300 for them, and then you can go for this one. That's crazy, actually. You can buy, keep buying upgrades on it all the time. All the time. We need every kind of unit as soon as possible to increase our chances to defend ourselves because they are coming yeah it's a mirror match by the way i think love florian yeah it's a mirror match i'm going to use rallying call here to deal with them faster and to not take any damage and also what i like to build is the statue can i do this um no i think it's also upgrade on this thing Nearby enemies are slowed and suffer minor damage over time. Hmm. Let's get this one. And also let's buy upgrade on this one. And keep building stuff around this location. Get this one too. And maybe, just maybe we're gonna be building up one more here in the front okay this one is gonna be good you know because they will take damage over time and also lose leadership bonuses or they will have like some damages and slow on them that's pretty decent and let's recruit more archers get this one for more for more resources and keep building more of these Okay, you need to invest manually on each stuff you build. This upgrade if you want to increase your command points, you know? That's very important. Okay, we are defending ourselves. That's great. I want to get this to level 2, actually. For that, we need 500. We need this to be able to recruit stronger units. Very important. And can we build more stuff? Yeah, we can. Okay, so I want to upgrade the stuff that I'm sure about to defend. Um, and as a secondary upgrade, maybe I'm going to take this one. And presents. So I'm going to build this. 
and this. So it's a heal. Hmm. Okay, not quite interesting faction, I need to say. I mean, every faction in this mod is quite unique, and you can see and tell how much time actually they put into this mod, you know? Getting this le to level 2 now. Now level 2. Now never mind. It's already level 2. And these are... I think they are also basically uh, archers. And we need strong archers. Maybe a tower could be nice, you know? The tower is looking exactly uh, like a <laughs> like a Malone tree, but with like a little bit different tree, you know. Oh, here they come, boys! Here they come! Defend, 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 defend! We have some pikemen in the front. Let's get them on the horsemen from the enemy, if we can. Stop body blocking, bro. Look at them go on the on the Malone tree only. Look at them go. Stop attacking my Malone tree, bro. Okay, nice. Let's get this for more command points. And also, let's get this. Now, we have already all the command points, all of them, besides this one in the front, which we also can do. And I'm wondering what this unit is. Hold on a second. Can I... Is this an archer unit? No, it's not an archer. It's a swordman. These are archers. And these are... Like assassins. They are swordmen. So I don't want to recruit them then. I want to go for this. To level 3. So I can recruit the Edrain named Meteor. And what I like to do is, first of all, let's buy this one. Banners of the Golden Wood basically does the same thing like all the banner upgrade on the fortress to make our heroes cheaper. And we have plenty of heroes, including uh, a boy, Idreal. He's looking like a teenager. Oh, we can also upgrade this one. That's, a, that's, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, nice! The world layer. It must be dealt with. Weapons ready, elves. Be quick. Has been upgraded. Nice. I like this one, dude. It's very interesting, actually. Let's get this one now. That's good. And what? I don't need this. Hidden volley ability. I don't. I don't need this either. But what I need are heroes. Okay, I need heroes. And let's start from the weakest or from the cheapest to the most expensive one. The cheapest is going to be Orafin, and the next one is going to be Rumil. Okay. Where are you going, bro? The aggressive stance is kind of crazy. Hold on. This is an archer unit. Yeah, these are archer units. I'm gonna put them inside the tower, actually. Dude, stop attacking. All right, I think they have crazy range, these units, and keep recruiting more and more heroes. Oh, be careful there, don't die. Builder. Rumir has arrived. It's a bowman, I like it. It's also a bowman. That's a swordman, right? Yeah, that's a swordman. Orofin and Drumir is a bomb man. Let's get this one and more heroes, okay? Hold on. Let's get the child, Idreal. And then we will recruit Haldir and then we will recruit Celeborn. And last but not least, we will be recruiting Galadriel, the lady of the Galadrim. Okay. Yeah, 
Should be able to defend this, no problem. <clears throat> Quite easy. No problem for the Lothlorien. I mean, this is the easiest by far, by the way, because I think this faction is pretty strong with the defensive capabilities. You can turn your Malone tree into anything you want. And I like this one. Is this a Swordman? Yeah. Who is this, by the way? I don't even know this guy, Israel. I, I, don't, I don't know who this is. We have so much money now, holy. I mean, Celeborn and Galadriel are actually quite expensive. Husband and wife, you know, obviously. I'm going to get this into a storehouse. Let's go for a storehouse and keep building more stuff at the bottom side. That's like this. To increase our command points a bit, a bit even more, which is very important. We want to reach 1000 as soon as possible. Okay. I mean, the towers from the elves are also very interesting. I like this one. Keep recruiting more heroes. Also very important. Haldir, come on. Nice, Haldir. Can you only fight with the sword? Nah. Okay. Let's go like this. And... We have almost the money for Celeborn and Galadriel. And then we need to build Entmut, you know, and with the Entmut we can go for the siege. I think my army is pretty strong. Okay, okay, okay. Come here fast, 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 fast. I think this one is going to be protected for now. Celeborn, you are next. I choose Celeborn, the Pokemon. Stop running away from me! Fight me! Look, they are running it down into my <laughs> into my thing, you know? Into my structure. They are also dealing a lot of damage to it. Let's get this one. Nice. Ooh. And our hero is going to be there in a few seconds. Celeborn, the Lord of the Galadrim. And almost the money already for the next big hero. The pikemen, these are, I think, they are hitting very hard. Like assassins, you know? I like it. Get the money and get out. Let's build now a tower right here. We group up a bit. Celeborn, I believe, is a melee hero. Right? Yeah, he's a melee hero. And he has the Lord of the Galadrim. So basically, he has a leadership that is giving you more speed and combat experience bonus. And also causes fear to nearby enemies passively. At level 3, he, he is accompanied with three sword-wielding sentinels of the Silver Tree. And at level 7, Celeborn summons three sword-wielding sentinels of the Silver Tree to guard an allied hero for 45 seconds. I mean, now they are coming from the bottom over and over again. That's something I don't like to see. And we have enough money for Galadriel. Let's go for it. All the heroes. Shoot! Shoot them! Oh damn, he destroyed it. That's not good. Oh, they are coming now from every location, boys. Get in there, boy. Did we defend this? No. We did actually. Okay, that's good. 
Come on, Galadriel. Where is Hydrid? Who's attacking him? But now the enemy is coming crazy, actually. Okay. So, gifts of Lothlorien, targeted Lothlorien heroes gain bonuses to one of their abilities. Galadriel, Light of Valinor, deals damage to enemies. Hereborn, Lord of the Galadriel, grants units 33 person armor. Idriel, cleanse, shadow, replant. Okay. I don't need any of this. I'm gonna go for the summon. Let's go for the summon. And there are still enemies, man. Hold on with it. They're annoying me. Seriously. Okay, we need more units, boys. Let's be honest, we need more units. Defend. What are these you animals there? My tower is doing a good job, and I, only my heroes are alive. All the other units are dead. All of them. But the defensive capabilities of this is something I really enjoy a lot. I think it's very good. Let's go for this one now. If all the heroes are on the field, that's great. And we are, hold, we are holding ourselves, that's also great. More eco is always good. And more units are required too. Let's get one of these and then one of these again. But what we really need is of course an end mood. Because it's the only way we can siege properly. Let's go for the end mood. And here they come. We have also a hero now. I mean that's like a mini hero. How is Galadriel attacking? Let me take a look into this. Her attack animations are looking like this, like a light and far sight, I believe, right? Far sight? Reveal shroud, okay. Nothing spicy, nothing we have not seen before. More army are required. Oh damn, he's coming. Can you defend yourself? Attack, 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 attack. They are destroying the Malon tree in a few seconds, boy. What is this damage coming from? Defend, 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 defend. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we have 1000 command points now. Let's keep it this way. Because we need more units. Let's recruit more archer units also. We have all the heroes. I think every one of them is alive too. That's pretty good. And we defended the Malon tree as well. Nice, Sue. Nice, Sue. Okay, here we need to check something. I think it's one of them. There we go. We need also upgrades on them. End mood. Let's go for three beards. Let's fight a little bit longer and more. I mean, this one should be defended, right? No problem. Yeah, yeah. This is easy. Okay, now we have 15 power points. We can go for them. Eagles of the mountains summons two giant eagles, which will lead only into the mist mist of Lothlorien. So friendly units within the mist become stealthed. Enemy units caught within the mist take damage over time. It's a spell. An enemy will lose actually a big chunk of damage, speed, and also armor. That's pretty busted. And I think we will take a look into this one. Eagles are always great for economical damage and structural damage, so it's always good to have eagles on your side. And this structure will be important later on, because we will be able to buy Malon, Malon longbows, and also blades and armor. But I want to retreat a bit. Only a little bit. And we need one more end. I want to get the Malon tree now. I mean the bow. For more DPS. And I think I can give it them. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be a big upgrade now on them. They should be hitting like a truck. 
Come on, upgrade. How long you need? There we go. Nice. Ooh. I need one more enter for the ultimate damage output. Can I give them also? There we go. I'm gonna also give them the ability. Oh, he's using Riding Cola or something. Oh boy, he's a Gunners. Oh, don't die. Uh, it's, it's my builder dead or not? No. Let me rebuild this tower we just lost. Hey man, don't die there. More ends required. More army over here. We're gonna be taking a look into the hero's hero abilities too very soon. In a bit at least. And but for now we need to chill a few seconds so I can recover. Oh my god, they are attacking us. Out of sc off screen by the way. I don't even see him attacking me. Is this Tribeard? No, it's a regular end. Need more of these ends because they are apparently not dealing any damage. More archers too. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him. So we have only one tree beard and two ends. I don't think it's enough though. Let's get all upgrades. We have so much money now. We can do whatever we want. That's number two and that's number one. Okay, one more end and we go. Okay, we have a huge army now. With no chance. Okay, it's go. It's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, we will lose the stuff here, but I don't care. I don't care. It is what it is. Go throw rocks at him. Throw rocks at him. Smash them all. I can click. I can right click on everything, right? I can right click on everything. Let me do this. Now it's faster. Now it's faster. My ends are throwing rocks like crazy. It's all the upgrades. We have so much money now. This faction feels quite wealthy too. If I'm being completely honest with you. I mean, obviously we have 1,000 command points, right? We have like unharmed economy. My enemy this time wasn't really strong. Oh, Orofin has been fallen. No, Orofin. Galadriel, don't die. The Storm Queen would be nice because Galadriel takes on the form of the Storm Queen and gains 50% armor and 300% damage to structures. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Let's go for the mist. Let's use the mist. Oh, we can use it like this. And then eagles. I think the mist doesn't do anything against structures though. My heroes are dying left and right. But it's okay. We have so much money we can revive them all. No problemo. Do you heal from the spell book? I'm not sure. We are going for the citadel now. It's gone. Ends are throwing it like crazy. I think we have also heal from the spell book. We need to have heal. Elves without heal. 
is not good, you know. <laughs> I always need heal. But it looks like he doesn't they don't have heal. But we destroyed the Citadel, that's amazing. Just keep focusing now. I mean we can also go for all the upgrades if you want to. Give them also heavy armor, just why not? If only archers though. I think our front line, all of them got killed and died. Well, that's crazy, actually. Oh, teleportation. Galadriel, you are taking so much damage, girl. Don't die on me. Or your husband, Celeborn, will be mad at me. By the way, he's level 8, wise beyond measure. Celebron's ward, grand friendly units, great experience. I'm assuming it's going to be a huge experience bonus. Because it's a eight, you know, level 8 ability, which you know should be normally strong. I like that in Bifimi 2 or Rise of the Witch King that you can click, right click on multiple abilities. Because in Bifimi 1 it's only limited to one single ability. Go, warriors of Isengard. Spear shall be shaken. I mean, the defensive capabilities of a Malone tree is kind of crazy. When you buy upgrades and he is trying to sneak on on you, you have always one unit for free that can defend you, you know? That's pretty good. Let's get this one. But it's hard for me visually to tell the difference between a barracks and a resource building, you know? Look at Galadriel, dude. I am Galadriel the White. And I came back to you now at the turn of the tide. Look at the graf graphics, boys. It's cr crazy graphics, you know? GG well played. Lothlorien. Easy as ever, you know? Actually, we advancing quite a lot in this one. Lothlorien, now we have Rivendell, which is pretty similar to Lothlorien, I'm assuming. Then we have Woodland Realm, Mordor, Isengard, Misty Mountains, Dol Guldur. And Herat Wheat. So there are still many factions to come. If you don't want to miss out those videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.